You've heard of bikepacking. And obviously you've heard of backpacking. So let me introduce you to swim packing. Look at this for a sense of place in the middle of Loch and Bora. Naturist resort. Can you can you imagine the midges in a naturist resort? This is Callum McLean, probably one of Scotland's best known open water swimmers, and this is why. Oh, hello! I guess far to you. Good fuck on Friday. It may not surprise you, but this is quite cold. Two TV series on open water swimming for BBC Scotland's Gaelic Channel is probably Callum's best known project, to which we can now add a book. That is pretty It's easy to read, yet packed with useful stuff to help beginners and experienced outdoor swimmers like Liz, and to a lesser extent, me. Callum is taking us on our first swim packing micro adventure. We're on Scotland's west coast. Starting in Malague, a local bus took us to point A on the road to the Isles, from where we're hiking up and over the hill, with a slightly tricky descent to Loch Mora. It's a two kilometer swim across the UK's deepest fresh water, then another short hike to where a small ferry will take us back to the start. There's just one boat a day at 3.30, so we can't miss that. There's been a massive increase in like outdoor swimming, wild swimming, whatever you call it, particularly over the last, well, five years, but two years especially. And actually, a, a huge increase in the number of books <laughs> coming out this year as well. So I guess a sort of reflection of how popular it is. One is to some extent, like how often you hear about it. The more people talk about it, the more other people are interested. Yeah, some people get scunnered with it and are sick of hearing about it. I think, I think you can get, well, I've never actually been the left one. But I think if you take the right one, you get an amazing view down Loch Bjorich, which is well worth seeing. Um, so we'll go that way. It's up ahead a little bit. The people who do it are often quite evangelical in a way. So like really encouraging other people to get into it. Like, you know. Like you? <laughs> like me, yeah. <laughs> Talking about how good it is and how much they enjoy it. And that gets people interested and be like, oh, you know, I'd, I'd like to go and try that. And then when they do it, often as part of a group, that shared bond of enjoying something together, I think, is encouraging people to kind of go back and do it more and more. Do you get all these comments about, why do you call it wild swimming? It's just swimming. I don't know, I, kind of, I, I used to get annoyed by the argument a couple of years ago. I just stopped caring now. And it's not in the title of your book? <laughs> no. The view from the top is superb, but I can only just glimpse our loch. I can just see there's a little triangle there, the GoPro won't pick it up, but if I stick my finger, there's a tiny triangle there. There's a chalk stone one here that's loose, okay? But it's quite useful to stand on. Clearly, between the area, lovely open area we came down, and where we are now, <laughs> you can hear me panting, there's a gorge and we had to get over. A lot of the tips I'm covering are not what you'd maybe consider wild swimming as such, like us going and swimming 2K across Loch Morar. It's quite wild, but it wouldn't be what a lot of people consider as wild swimming. I think it's a bit more committing. And it's Callum's humour and experience that makes his book entertaining and practical. So things I've really learnt myself often through maybe through bad experiences or through doing things wrong, you often learn a lot. So yeah, I really wanted to make a book that had kind of a, an appeal to everyone. So apparently this white corrugated iron shack, this was a school in this upper glen. Imagine kids, whatever age you were, this is where you got your education. I suppose as long as it was good enough to prepare you for work on the estate, that was what mattered. I'm now starting to get apprehensive, actually, folks. I am. Um, a little bit. I think once you get past, once you, once you can't see the bottom... It doesn't matter. 20, 30 metres, it doesn't matter, so... But no monster. No, well, Morag lives <laughs> in Loch Morag, so there could be a monster. 
you're enjoying this, there's a longer podcast linked in the video description or search for Always Another Adventure. And if you're tempted to try swim packing, you don't need much specialist kit. The main piece of essential kit is something that's gonna keep everything else dry. So I've got a big massive waterproof bag, that's my rucksack, and then I can drag it, I can tow it behind me. And effectively, when it's like that, there's nothing that's really causing any obstruction in the water, nothing to slow it down, causing any drag. Because everything I've got on now, I want it to be dry and warm so I can get changed pretty quickly on the other side. Heal with me. I'm quite keen to make people realise to you know to go on adventures, to do things. You don't need to always have like the best gear. You don't need to spend loads and loads of money on kit. It can help sometimes, but for something like this, uh, just think about what you need, cover the essentials. The more you do it, the more you want to spend money because you realise, oh, that wetsuit wasn't good enough or a bag that flows nicer in the water behind me or something. So yeah, keeping it simple, keeping it straightforward and keeping it something that anyone could do just about. Good work. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, but what a place. Yeah. And I mean, what a feeling in the, the middle of there. satisfaction of just looking from where you've come from as well. But I've got a shiver on. I am yeah, too. <laughs> the last kind of 10 minutes, I think. Yeah. We just starting to feel. Starting to feel it there, yeah. 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 Right. Time to get changed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> In the way that backpacking is self-contained, in that you've got your house and everything you want with you and on you, it's a bit like that. Totally. Only encompassing another dimension. Yeah. It turns out that this rucksack wasn't entirely <laughs> waterproof. And the, um, the cake box might have leaked. <laughs> there we go. It's just... <laughs> it's all right if you ring it out. <laughs> we reach Tarbot with 30 minutes before the ferry is due, and there's a reception committee. Yes, you are. You're a cheeky little thing. This seems like the right place to end our first swim packing adventure. If this has tempted you to try open water swimming, then this video might help. If you're interested in these sort of adventures, then this one might be a good place to go next. The round button will help you subscribe. If you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Have a look around the channel too, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.